Hello, my name is Frederick Anevi. Stay safe, learn Excel under two minutes. Today, I have a challenge posed by one of my followers called Phoebe. She said that she had a data and the data was entered by storekeepers and they are in the, we have the east shop, the west shop and the north shop and the south. Those are the location of the shops. And these were the sales recorded by the data entry person. And now when he sums it, he's not getting the right answer. So we are going to help her in this. First, we need to realize that the first, do we can see it as number, it's really in a text format in that you can see the comma in there the second one to the west shop you can see that it's also entered as a text so first it's aligned to the left and also you can see the comma in there the north shop you can see that visibly you can see the comma but when you look into the formula bar you can see that the comma is part of the format of the number so in there you can see it look at the south shop it's a text so you can see that in there there is the comma in there now to solve this and to ensure that when you sum you get it right we can use either the value or the number value to convert all this into numbers so first we'll use the number value so equal to number value select we open our parenthesis we select the sales number we close our parenthesis then enter voila you see that we it has been converted to a number and you can see that the sum is being applied you can quickly then drag it down and to have an impact on all of them then you can see that you have the number in here here we can see it as now but it is not comma separated assuming that you want it to be separated by the comma in the number format then we can go to number launch the format cells bar then go to number then where we have the decimal place you say where we have the use a thousand separator we check it so you'll see that automatically have a thousand separator assume that you don't want any decimal places after the number then we can reduce it to zero you can see the sample here then you click on ok so you'll see that two in here we have a comma separator in there it is in the number format we can quickly just copy this if we don't want the number to have any impact on it and paste it special so you'll see that in here here in the formula bar we can't see the comma in there but visibly because it's part of the number format we can see that it's 23,345 I promised also to also use the value the value formula is the same as the number so quickly you can just input an equal to we have value so you select where we have the number we enter you see that we have it in the same format in here quickly you can just use the alt plus equal to to sum it and you see that we have the result. Assuming we want the comma separator to be in there, you can select it. Quickly go to the way we have the number format. We launch it. Then number, we can just check the separator. If we don't want any decimal places, we reduce it and click on OK. So those were the two formulas I used for this. The number value and the value formula. Thank you very much. Continue to follow us on this channel, Fred Excel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.